Hi friends, it's Miss Tina and I'm back with another video. It's Friday again guys, I'm back as promised. Here I am. This story that I have for you today was recommended by my mom. And so mom, this story is for you. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to keep coming back. We have lots of stories on here for you to look at. And please share, share, share with your friends, your family, your relatives and loved ones. I will be here every Friday just for you. So before we get into our story, there's a question I have for you. Does anybody know what that is? I think you're right. Are you tucked in? Good. I'm tucked in too. Let's get into today's story. Today's story is the night before Christmas. The night before Christmas. We have a couple of days before Christmas, but this is a great story. So let's get into it. Okay. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse I'm pretty glad that there were no mice around the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the stash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wind hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the dancing and pawing of each little hoof.
as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Have you ever tried to stay up at night and see Santa Claus? He never came as long as you're awake, right? Yeah. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose, like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. the stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. Placing all of the toys under the tree, filled up all of the stockings. And lying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. This book is a tongue twister. Get your tongue all twisted up in knots. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all. Well, guys, that's the end of our story for this day, the night before Christmas. I hope you all enjoyed it. Although we all enjoy the story of Santa Claus and St. Nick and Christmas and snow and carols and all of those things, the true meaning of, of Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ. So however you celebrate this year, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all next week. Bye, friends. <laughs>